But anyway, we have a a vintage um, light fixture here. Yep, it's a light fixture, all right. A light fixture with a nice hump on top with that maximum lighting effect. But no, this actually has a different purpose. Probably wondering, what is this for? Well, what are these for? Well, this is a aluminum tree killer wheel. Killer wheel for short. These were used to reflect on uh, aluminum Christmas trees. Because with the aluminum trees, you cannot connect normal lights to them because it would be a fire hazard. Because the uh, aluminum on the tree is highly freaking uh, conductive. So, they, designed, they came up with the Keller wheel to reflect colored light on the branches, which honestly looks beautiful. And hopefully we can get this thing working. Now... Let me uh, plug it in here. Original cord style. Okay, we got it plugged in. Turn it on. Well, you see, the motor still has some life left into it. Very noisy, but it's got life left into it. Now, and the motor is dated ninth week of 1965. So this unit is 57 years old. And the motor is still going. And with normal Keller wheel, with most Keller wheels, the motors on these things always go out. So that this one works is quite amazing. Now let's put in a bulb, energy efficient style. How many foxes does it take? To screw in a light bulb. Well, apparently only one. <laughs> only 3,000. <laughs> just gotta... Oh my god. Can't you just go in already? Ah, there we go. Prepare for blinding light. Oh yeah. Ah. Showroom beauty. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, basically, this thing looks like a, just one of those old, uh, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like an old wall sconce from, like, the 50s, and they just attached a motor on top of it, and then, uh, had a post with these, uh, killer, plastic killer pieces which you assemble, but, uh, there's your orange... The 60s. Let me uh, shine some orange. There's your orange light, which looks appears to be yellow. Here's your blue light. Oh, so blue. Almost looks like black light. And here's your green. Got the star to mount the light to. You got the uh, brackets. I got all four of them here, and then here's the broken bit, the uh, post, which, let me turn this thing off. Which, you got the post, which, uh, well, if you look, the uh, post has snapped off a long time ago, and it would look like that. It would look like that. I have an idea to fix it. Not sure it's going to work. If that doesn't work, I have the same exact motor that I can uh, replicate, retrofit something in. But yeah. It's UL listed too for lack of fire, lack of a uh, house burning. It's, ho it's house burning resistant with that. Uh, Adjustable base for maximum lighting pleasure. Oh, yeah. Look at that swivelness. Can really get it up. 
but I like it there because it looks better like that. But yeah, the star of the show, which would have went there. But yeah, this thing needs some repair. I would say my... Actually, no, those wires are perfectly fine. Those can stay. Damn, LEDs get pretty hot these days, but, uh, yeah. Simple unriveting should be able to get that motor out. And I just gotta go under and lightly get these, uh, unclipped. Gotta lightly unclip these so I can get the, uh, motor out. So I could repair it and oil it, because it's pretty noisy. It's not, it's not the worst I've heard. But you're probably wondering... Well, Axel, why the fuck would you need one of these if you don't possibly own an aluminum Christmas tree? Well, I own one, but it isn't an original. I'm not paying $500 for a tree that has, like, really fucked up branches. And people can't obviously see past problems, and they'll just list it for, like, $500 just because it's vintage. If I was going to sell something... And it had messed up branches. I would each individually fix those branches and have it worthwhile. More money, maybe. I don't know. What am I talking about? But, uh, yeah. I have an aluminum Christmas tree. I made one. That's all I'm going to say. You'll see it soon. There's an upcoming retro Christmas video coming up with some good Christmas music I found. So, yeah. Well. going to use the old... 1984 drill press and still works well I soon learned that this was not worth fixing this motor was just done I could not get it to drill in the middle my eyesight is not very good so we're gonna have to go with plan B the backup motor well, I got this thing oiled and greased, and it's running like a top. So this will replace the original one. So we're going to stop it. And we're going to put it back together. Alright, got the motor on. Well, we got it working. We got it working. As you can see, I had to just stuff some cardboard in there, but that's fine. Nice tight seal. Now I just got to mount the motor with some screws. And uh, there's the color wheel spinning away. I think it will stop humming if I uh, fasten it down, but let's turn off the light. Yep, look at that. It's working a charm. Well, thank you for watching this repair of this uh, 1965. Uh, this is also made by Pentry. Penetre. It's a Penetre uh, made... Um, what's it called? It's a Penetre made... Uh, color wheel. Oh, I also see some dust in there. I gotta clean these things too, the plastic. And then I gotta mount the motor, which. Yeah. Maybe get get a give it a, a bigger bulb with some more brightness. But yeah, thank you for watching this uh, repair. I hope you enjoy. And uh, soon we'll be showing you my homemade aluminum Christmas tree with the 1965 Penetre Keller wheel fixed.